Hello everyone, welcome to the Cyber Rangers platform. In this instructional video, we will be exploring the process of connecting to the Cyber Rangers VPN on Windows. To get started, you can access the Cyber Rangers platform with the following URL, that is app.cyberrangers.com. You'll then be prompted to log into your account. After specifying your username and password, you can log in by clicking on the Engage button and you will be logged into the Cyber Rangers platform. The first step will involve downloading your unique OpenVPN certificate, which can be accessed by clicking on the top left next to your avatar. On this page, you will have the ability to download your unique OpenVPN certificate right over here. So I can click on download and I can then save it wherever I want to save it. In this case, I've already downloaded my OpenVPN certificate onto my Windows system. When connecting to the Cyber Rangers VPN on Windows, you will need the OpenVPN client installed. And by default, Windows does not come prepackaged with the OpenVPN client. As a result, you'll need to download the OpenVPN client Connect version 3 on the following web page. That is under openvpn.net forward slash client connect VPN for Windows. You can then click on the download OpenVPN Connect version 3 and that'll download the installer file. You also have the 32-bit versions of this installer file available, so you can download that based on your op operating system architecture. This will work on Windows 7, 8, 8.1, and 10. I already have the OpenVPN installer file on my desktop, and to install it, we can just double click on it, and that'll bring up the installation wizard. I will just click on next and agree to the terms in the license agreement and hit next and install. This will take a couple of seconds to install and I'm just going to wait for this to complete. After the OpenVPN client has been installed, you will be greeted with the following dialog box or window, which will give you an introduction as to how to use it. We will just skip over this and you'll then be prompted to agree to the terms and conditions, which I will agree to, and I can get rid of the updates page. Now, in order to connect to the Cyber Rangers VPN, you need to import the OpenVPN certificate that you downloaded. So I can specify file right over here, and then I can essentially browse or drag and drop the OpenVPN certificate that I downloaded from the Cyber Rangers platform. As I said, I already have this stored on my desktop. There we are. So I can just drag it right over here and that will load it. You can then customize the profile name based on your own requirements. However, the server host name will be locked as that is tied in to the, the vpn.cyberranges.com address. Once the profile has been imported, you can connect to the Cyber Ranges VPN by clicking on connect. Now, before you do that, it is very important to note that when utilizing OpenVPN Connect or the VPN, the OpenVPN client on Windows, once you connect to a specific OpenVPN profile or certificate, you will not be able to access the internet and you'll only be able to access the target systems or the IP addresses within the Cyber Ranges VPN network. As a result, I would recommend initializing or starting the scenario that you are working on before connecting to the Cyber Rangers VPN. As an example, I'll just go back into the Cyber Rangers platform and I can navigate into the library where I already have a scenario that I was already working on and is currently in progress. So I can continue that scenario and I can click on servers and I have the target IP address right over here. So if I try and access the target IP address before connecting to the Cyber Rangers VPN, you'll see that I'll not be able to access it. And in this case, we're trying to access the OASP web or Security Shepherd web application. Now, on the top right, you can see that we have the VPN status indicator, which tells us that we're currently not connected to the Cyber Rangers VPN. So once you're currently within the scenario page or the actual scenario itself, we can now connect to the Cyber Rangers VPN. So I will click on connect and that'll take a couple of seconds. And there we are. We are connected and this will provide you with your private IP address as well as a graph that shows you your internet activity in terms of your download and upload activity and the data being transferred. 
we can now access the target systems within the scenario that we're currently working on. So I can try and access the target IP once again, and I should be able to access the OASP Security Shepherd scenario or web page, if you will. And I can now go ahead and go through these, this particular scenario, as well as the challenges that are part of this scenario.